So I don't know about your city, but here in my city, the weather is beginning to get really cold, both morning and afternoon. And everyone is beginning to bring out their winter blanket. And this is another way to warm up your body, both morning and afternoon. So if you are new to my channel, I remain my humble self. My name is Janet. You are welcome to my channel. I really appreciate your presence here. If you like this video, please do me well to give it a thumb up. Just smash that like button, okay? And if you are here to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe, okay? Just subscribe and share this video if you can. So in today's video, as you saw from the beginning, we are going to be making a salted meat pepper soup, okay? I am using the inner part of cow. That has been my favorite for some time now, okay? Just shaki, a body, the tongue, eh... Uh, the intestine, the kidney, the heart, everything you can find inside cow, okay? So, as you saw, I I mean, the meat are already thoroughly cleaned, okay? And I'm just going to steam with onion. I added enough onions because I love onions, guys. I'm using the white one, but you can use the purple one or the red one, okay? I'm just going to steam it with uh, some onions, salt, seasoning and then some hot scotch bonnet okay i'm not adding water now because i know very well that this meat is going to release its juice very soon i will show you so i will cover it for 10 minutes and then i allow it to simmer for 10 minutes without adding water and here i am back after 10 minutes just wait and let me show you you saw i did not add water at all let me show you the juice that this meat released okay I don't know why but the kind of beef we see here although this is not beef but the kind of beef we see here i mean they contain a lot of water i don't know why and that is why most of the time before boiling meat i don't add water i just allow to you know just simmer for some time so i will know the amount of water to add to it so after the 10 minutes i am here to add pepper soup spices i'm going to be adding it gradually okay and I'm also adding some aniseed. I blended it myself. If you have not tried aniseed in your pepper soup, my girl, you are missing. You are missing. Just try adding aniseed. It will take your pepper soup to another level. And so I also added some crayfish. And I will just go ahead and, um, you know, mix to incorporate. All right. And after mixing, I will just add about um a, almost a liter and a half of water but before then i tasted for salt and um, everything was just okay so this is me adding the water this is called pepper soup okay so i need enough liquid in it besides the meat are yet to be done i still have to cook this for almost 20 minutes and so i need enough liquid to cook um afterwards i also need enough liquid after okay so i added extra scotch bonnet because i needed this pepper soup to be very very spicy and i also added some extra pepper soup spices okay i thought i needed some so i added it and then uh, this is just after 20 minutes okay and this is me adding some mchuang scent leaf okay the fresh one and uh, I actually wanted to add extra flavor. So I went ahead and added some fresh curry leaf. This is the kind of curry leaf that we see in Nigeria. So I combined the two leaves together, scent leaf and some fresh curry leaf. Honestly, this place smells so good. Okay, and this is the end of the video. Like I told you from the beginning, I needed a lot of liquid in this pepper soup. Okay, I don't cook pepper soup without liquid. After all, that is why it's called pepper soup. And this is me dishing out. Okay, this pepper soup can be eaten with anything. Yam, rice, agidi, echo, whatever. Boil plantain. It's so versatile, guys. So, this is it. I've come to the end. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you.